criminal. <laughs> I see people for what it is. I see things for what it is. I'm trying to sell Lee to a rehab because. Are you? I got a friend that's got a rehab. You go down there. Lee? Why are you trying to sell Lee, sell, send Lee to a rehab? Because uh, he can make money. There's a really? rehab. There's a bunch of rehabs in Florida you go to, and they get your insurance, and they bang your insurance for 60, and then they give you a cut back at 30. I told Lee, let me send you down there to my buddies. Give me 10%. I get three grand. You go down there, get acupuncture, they give you a few massages. What do you give a fuck? <laughs> The rehab uh, business what if you, is... Imagine who Lee Syatt would be in terms of his marijuana consumption. Imagine where he would be if it wasn't for you. Like, there is... Th that guy, when you first started having him on your show, when you guys first started doing your he show He had smoked together, pot maybe three times in college. A couple months in, he's done superhero doses of edibles. A couple months in. I mean, like, Little almost, by little, little by little. Yeah, but I when you would to... sneak him in on him... And you would take away a 250 and put it at 500 well, what I would and do rewrap is, it. I get this. <laughs> look one. at him. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> this, the Joey Diaz co star in the church of what's happening now is completely asleep at the wheel. He's on the show and his eyes are almost totally closed. He's a, barely a slit and he's just dazed. Who's the guest? Who is that? It's Raymond Bazia. A kid that I told on this podcast. Is look at that, him, look at him, look at him. Look yeah, at him. he can't take it no more. He's he can't so take it no more. high. What is the name of this video, Jamie? Lee in Outer Space. <laughs> Lee Saya in Outer Space. <laughs> <laughs> look at him go. He's gone. I would get these, okay? I would go over there in the afternoons. And I would get a 180, and I would rip the cover off the 180. Oh. And I would take a 67, 60 milligram one, and I'd eat that one. It was like 2 in the afternoon. They don't do nothing to me. I'd eat like a 60, and I'd take the 180 and put it in the 60 wrapper. Oh, no. And then I'd bring it to him, put it on the table, and in front of him, I'd go, here. And I'd open it up for him. And he wouldn't see that it was half opened already. Uh... And I would give him the 60. But it was in one Like last night, I gave him an expired one. It had a little bit of mold on it. <laughs> <laughs> he He's going to be a good comic. Oh, bro, he he's is. He's going to be a good comic. Look at I'm Eleanor. Watching him. Look at Eleanor. Eleanor sat there for 15 years, shut her mouth, and watched. There's a really special gift to that. Yeah. Whether you think Eleanor's funny or not, whether you agree with her or not, I give her the balls. A lot of people don't like just sitting there and watching. There's a lot of people that do, though. You know, there's a lot of people that work in and around comedy clubs that probably want to do it. They just don't know how to get started. You know, they just don't have it in them to get the ball rolling. It's hard. It's hard to, it's hard to try something new. You keep thinking about when's the right time to do it. Is it now? Maybe should I wait a week? You know, you know what? I'm going to lose 10 pounds, and then I'm going to try it. And you get all these things in your head. How long 